Ellie's Hip Hop Morning Show, Power 106. Welcome to the Daily Dose. Make sure you guys subscribe on our YouTube channel and, of course, hit that notification bell. Now, today we're discussing John Singleton. He passed away yesterday um, at the age of 51. He had a stroke and he was in a coma for, um, how long was he in a coma for? Like a, Over the weekend, right? Yeah. I felt like it was like two or three days. Okay, that's coma. what I felt like, too. Yeah. And then he ended up passing and it's affected the entertainment industry across the board. Yeah. Man, let's talk about it right now. Janet Jackson... Common, everyone, Snoop Dogg, Tyrese. Yes, um, it's just first fifty-one years old is too young. I mean, way too young. Way too young. We say that a lot, but fifty-one years old, like he had so much art and, and, and memories to create. You know, right? Taken away at, at fifty-one years old, and I think people sleep on the relevance and importance of his films, right? And, and with with the culture, the, the um, with the hip hop culture, just even in L.A. Poetic justice. That was my movie. Yeah, you know, you know what's what crazy I mean? is that when he directed Boys in the Hood, he was only twenty-four years old. That's yeah, you know, super he was young. a young dude, and he was yeah. in, a, in many ways a visionary. Yeah. A master at his craft, yeah. changed the whole landscape of movies because before Boys in the Hood, they weren't making movies like no, that. No. That was a whole genre of movies he brought in. Let's, and not even yeah. a director, but also too like a mentor to these people. You know, um, Taraji posted that every time she needed, you know, guidance, she needed wisdom. John Singleton was the person that she would call, Man. and he picked up the phone every single time. So this is also something that they would lean into as yeah. well. Yeah. Man, I just want to celebrate life. Can we, let's clap it up because that uh, he was the first African American director to be nominated for an Academy Award for Boys in the Hood. Yes, he was offered a hundred thousand to not make the film, and he said, "Nah, this is the film I was born to make." Right, and, and put Ice Cube on. Bro, he made he launched. Ice Cube into the stratosphere. Like, you know, uh, I'm sure Ice Cube was still going to be the mogul that he is. Mm -hmm. But without John Singleton's, Singleton's help, it would have been harder. Favorite you John know? Singleton movie? Baby Boy. Oh, that's mine, too. Oh, right, I'm sorry. Don't say I'm that. Sorry. That's my okay, favorite right, movie. Oh, take that back. Hold hold on, on, I on. love Hold Baby on. Boy. Ready? I Ready? love you, Terry. Right, here we go. Ready? Yes. Too Fast, Too Furious. Oh, okay. 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 No, no. no, no. <laughs> that one, no pockets ain't empty. Cuz. No. What? Baby Boy, one of the illest quotes in any movie of all time. You ready? Go so ahead. Stupid. Let me smell your dick, Jody. Pause. Damn. Damn. Shout out to Taraji. Damn. What up, girl? You my rib. <laughs> Jody, Jody, Jody. Sweet but um, in a wheelchair? No, I love it. I especially like I, it still comes on and, and I still watch it. And I love seeing uh, shout out to Snoop Dogg and Trady because they're in the movie as well. And Trady. I love watching them. And every time I watch it, I like always tell Trady, like, man, I love seeing you in Baby Boy. And that, that's the thing is like he incorporated hip hop artists into films. You know, yeah. if you go back to Poetic just Justice, I'm sorry, I'm Bice Justice. <laughs> but Poetic Justice, he had Pac, he had Q Tip. You know, Janet Jackson's first film um, was Poetic Justice. And then we talked about Snoop, Tyrese. Um, you could even talk about Too Fast, Too Furious, not to joke on it, but right. um, Ludacris was on that film. Right. I think uh, Rapper Jin, Battle Rapper Jin was in that oh, film. Oh, shit, where's that's Jin at? That's a drop. <laughs> that's a gem. Um, what up, Jin? Uh, and then, you know, just, just, and then he ventured off into television. He directed an ep episode of Empire. Yes, yeah. he did. Um, he directed an episode of uh, The People vs. OJ. People don't, you know, and then he had Snowfall, was, which is very successful. It told a story right. of the cocaine era in the 80s, right, right before Crack hit. It's on, epi it's on season three now, and he was a creator of that show so he he never stopped working he did michael jackson remember the time man Come on, that he is did so that video classic. he yes, did he did and he did something so classic um he put magic johnson in that video right yes this is after magic johnson had announced that he was right like, hiv positive and he had yes before AIDS he virus. paid for the cure right <laughs> so you're stupid uh so he did that because he saw mike's press conference and he i mean magic's press conference and he wanted to do something special for magic to let him know like he's not alone mm -hmm. we're not going to shy away from him. we're going to back you up and we're going right. to support you like little things like that like right. that make him such a great man man I, I um i i remember when we were at the um we were at a museum in downtown la and he was speaking and somebody had asked him about the Tupac movie. Mm. And, you know, it, it came out, you know, but I just always think about, like, I wonder how different it would have been for if John Singleton. Yeah, John Singleton yep. would have touched yeah. it. You know what I mean? I, I feel like it would have been a whole different type of movie. Pac. Yeah. Yes. Like, Tupac movie was dope. No, it wasn't. Okay. It Tupac was movie was I. Right. But, but imagine. But yeah, but John the thing Singleton. that I remember John Singleton saying, because they asked him about it, and he was like, he, you know, he didn't want to say too much, but he's like, listen, he was like, when it comes to, to Pac, it ha it's a movie that has to be done right. Yeah. He was like, or I'm going to have the whole West Coast on my head. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. So he knew that at that point it had to be done a certain way. And I think that at that point, 
Man. Yeah. I wish he would have yeah. directed I, it. I, I wish it because it a, a whole different, it a whole yes. different movie. I want to I want to say another thing. I want can you imagine obviously the unfortunate passing of Tupac if he never had passed what him and John would have created. Yes. Cuz you think about poetic justice, right? And then he wrote Baby Boy for Tupac. Like that was supposed to be their collab. You could imagine where they would have took it, you know? Um so that was a, a, a pairing that we only got one dose of. Right. Can you imagine if we would have got many films of them collabing together, mm -hmm. they would have made something very special. But, um, it's yeah. Sad. It's, 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 it's so sad. many gems. Right. I mean, I, I, I want to add, like, he didn't tell Ice Cube to write Friday, but he motivated him to write, right? So the inspiration to write a film came from John Singleton. Yeah. He said, just write. Just, just write. write. That was it. It's just write. Keep writing. Yeah. Don't stop. You know? Um, also, Lawrence Fishburne, Samuel Jackson, um, he helped out, you know, with, um, with, uh, uh, with what was it? I'm sorry, Shaft with mm -hmm. Samuel, Lawrence Fishburne in Boys in the Hood. So this man's, um, as far as like his reach, was incredible. Right. You know, from the acting realm to the hip hop realm to just representing the, uh, the people who aren't represented. You know, the voice of the uh, of the unheard. So, John Singleton. Much love. Man, don't miss yes. you, So, my favorite was Baby Boy. Yours was? Uh, Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood. Let me smell your dick, Jody. Baby Whoa, Boy. Pause. Baby Boy. Pause. So, make sure you guys post, bo post below what is your favorite John Singleton movie. And, actually, you guys can use your favorite quote, too, from the movie. Yeah, man. Four Brothers? I wouldn't say what Noah said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't sleep on Four Brothers, either. Oh, I'm, my God. I'm looking like yes. for who killed... My mother. Yes. By the way, he also gave Andre 3000 a, a role in that movie, too. Andre 3 Stack. So there you, there you go. go. Yes, there it is. Make sure you guys post below. Smell your Daily dick, Dose. Jody.